All right, so mine is not nearly as, um, I guess, uh, exciting as that. Or, so I, I well, no, I did, okay. Uh, what's up, guys? My name's Ben, another name to the, uh, or another uh, Ben in the audience here. Um, so I intentionally did go after them, though, because the project is very kind of similar to what they're doing, uh, except instead of using handheld radios, I used a couple Meshtastic devices that I already had laying around at home. Uh, so Meshtastic, it's, if you're familiar with Gotenna, it's kind of the, uh, a similar idea uh, where you can send text messages between radios. Uh, so if you can send text, then I, you know, I figure you can kind of send uh, small amounts of data, such as Bitcoin transactions. Uh, my original goal was to uh, s set up a lightning, uh, well, two lightning wallets between two of these devices and send transactions back and forth between the two of them. Uh, but that was way too ambitious for the uh, scope of this project. Um, I spent probably about the first day just trying to get the mesh net set up correctly and all the nodes actually talking to each other. Um, so what I have to demo today is pretty much just showing them talking to each other and then showing kind of just a high level flow of what they would be doing. Uh, What's that? Push this one, right? Oh, full screen. It. Yeah. Nice. All right. A little tough to see. We'll do it. We'll do it. Um, all right, so I'll just start by showing, I don't know if anyone can see this up at the front, but we have just kind of the three radios sitting here. Uh, so what I'll, sh the first thing I'll just show is uh, a little command that, well, maybe not, there we go. Uh, Meshtastic ports. So Meshtastic is the API that we're running. So this is just gonna show the nodes that are connected to the mesh net here. Uh, so what we can see is there's three nodes. Uh, each one has their own ID, and they see each other, uh, hopefully. Uh, and then what we can do is I have just a, uh, a little script that's going to listen. I don't want to have to type everything each time. Uh, but so I have just a listen script, and that's listening on one of the ports on my PC. So I think that's this device here is going to be listening. And then from another tab, I'll go in and I'll say, let's see, our meshtastic from the other device, let's send text. And this can just be um, any message. So let's say I'm looking at uh, the pleblab sticker right there. So let's say pleblab. So send text. And then from the other from the listener, we can see our message showed up. And then I also got a buzz in my pocket because my phone is connected to this one via Bluetooth. So hypothetically, you could think of these spaced out much farther. Um, but that's just kind of showing the different mesh devices actually talking to each other right now. Uh, if we were going to go into kind of the Bitcoin ecosystem, which is what I wanted to do, uh, what we could imagine is, uh, let's see here, I have this is, so I, I started playing with BDK here. So if we cargo run the binary, whoo, binary, so we can generate addresses. You can see a few addresses pop up. We might imagine we take one of those addresses and this would all be kind of bundled together. But for now, I'm just going to copy and paste stuff and then just kind of go through the same flow. So maybe um, I generate an address on one device. Um, or, f or maybe the address is coming from the internet, and then I send that address over the mesh, sends the message, so then from a listener, somebody on the mesh might see this address. Now they can create a transaction, um, which I won't I don't have anything to create. I was trying to get that set up right before the deadline, wasn't able to do it. Um, wouldn't make too much sense to do it on my phone, but I, that's what I was doing up until this point. Uh, but yeah, then you could imagine, um, you know, my phone, maybe just from my phone, I'll type back uh, my signed transaction. So if I send that, hopefully that should pop up here. Maybe not. Set a listener on this one, see if this one will work correctly. Yeah. 
Yeah, not always consistent. All right, imagine you saw a sign transaction come in. <laughs> that would be Bluetooth to the white device and then... Yeah, so that would be like, a yeah, I might be off-grid, offline somewhere, send a sign transaction to one of these devices that might be connected to the internet and then you could relay the message out. And part of what's cool about, oh, let's go, yeah, my sign transaction. Now imagine the text my sign transaction is actual sign transaction. Uh, but yeah, what's cool is kind of the same idea that they're shown with the radios, except a lot of the mesh networking has already been handled. So like, you know, theoretically or hypothetically, you might relay through the mesh network instead of having to be connected point to point. Uh, there's like some encryption that's already handled, some TCP IP stuff already there. Um, Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of kind of having to do all the manual intervention, it's it, hopefully you kind of create something that's lightweight. You know, you'd have just maybe a phone, like a wallet on your phone that can kind of handle it every, handle everything for you. Um, yeah, why this is interesting, I think it's, you know, it doesn't solve a single problem, but it just kind of opens up a lot of new use cases. So um, kind of up to the imagination there. You can do like uh, partially signed transactions. Maybe you'd, sp you know, spread that amongst multiple people. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. <laughs> uh, do we do questions? Yeah. I don't know too much about mesh. What are the distances that we can talk more about there? Uh, depends on the environment. I so I, I think they advertise like one to five miles. Um, so if you're in like a city, um, you could get probably about a mile. Like you could probably connect like Bitcoin Commons and Pleb Lab. I thought that'd be kind of something cool to do like during the hackathon. But I've tested out like my parents play, my parents live on a lake, so you have better line of sight there. And I've gotten four miles and I didn't really optimize for anything. That was just like the default settings there. 